guys, Chloe Williams here. Welcome back to another episode of Roundtable Talks with just Chloe today. So Josh has promised me that he's going to be on our episode next week, so look forward to that one. However, today I've got a really exciting guest on here today. I have the all-American salesman, Stefan Soleil. Welcome to the show. Hey, thank you. As you, you can tell, welcome. I'm the shorter, <laughs> heavier, but better looking option. Yeah, for Not sure. Not Josh, so... <laughs> Not Josh, but it works. It'll work. Yeah, so I've today. just got a couple questions for Stefan. I'm going to run through those, and we're going to see how this goes, I guess. Should be a good time. Yeah, should really be. Really excited. Yeah. Uh, so the first question I've got is, where are you from, and then what did you do before the car industry? Um, so I was originally born in Houston, Texas, and um, my mother and father split up in Houston, and she was from this area. Okay. So she, or, well, from Northern Kentucky. So I've, I've grown up all in uh, Northern Kentucky. And uh, car business wise, phew, gosh, this is like my first and only big boy job. Like I've never, I've never really done anything other than commission sales, other than the auto mm -hmm. industry. Um, I mean, I worked at KFC for a while. Love KFC. Slang, slang burgers at Wendy's for a minute, there you you know, stuff like that. But yeah, selling cars is pretty much all I've ever done. That's awesome. I, uh, in my regular life, if I'm not selling something, I'm just useless. So. Wow. That's kind of sad to hear. <laughs> I no, don't think that's true at totally all. Not totally useless. So. Sales you can no. use. No matter what you're doing in sales or in life, you're using sales. Yeah, for Whether sure. like you're trying to get your own way in something, you're trying to sell someone an idea, you're just trying to win an argument, you know, you're selling. So, I no agree. Idea. One thousand percent. Thank you. So then how long have you been at the Mark Williams Auto Group? Uh, so I actually worked for your dad over at the Chevy store okay, yeah. in, in Lawrenceburg. And uh, I actually, I was there in January of 14, I think. And I watched Josh shoot his like very yeah. first promo mm -hmm. when he like didn't know what to do yeah, with his, his hands. hands. It was really great. It was like, what's that, like Caledega Nights? <laughs> yeah, you know? exactly, yeah. Like, the car. Yeah. yeah. But uh, no, so I was over there January 14. Um, I was there for two and a half years, roughly, something mm -hmm. like that. And then uh, Kelsey's took over, yep. and it's Kelsey Chevrolet now. So then um, I left there, took like a six month hiatus, and I've been back here since I think 15. Awesome, so, yeah. we're happy to have you here for Thanks. sure. So then what is your favorite car to sell and why? Um, I mean, I I, <clears throat> I like the F-150s. Yeah. I'm, I'm a truck guy. Mm -hmm. I love wheels, tires, lift kits, mm -hmm. exhaust. I mean, everything about them. It's what I drive, it's what I, it's what I know, it's what I love, and uh, I just, yeah, it's just, it's my favorite to sell because it's my favorite to drive, so. That's a really good reason, yeah. for sure. And so then you've got a special nickname. You're the All-American Salesman, so you can kind of tell us where that originated from or how you... Um, so I call myself the All-American Salesman um, because I am an American. Yes. I believe in buying American. <laughs> I only want to sell American cars. Um, just to me, it's important to, you know, remember where you are and why you have what you have. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's kind of like my way of bringing... Um, viewership to that, I guess. Yeah, for sure. um, plus my military background, you yep. know, stuff like that. So it just kind of made sense. Yeah, so, so can you tell us a little bit about your military background? Yep, so I graduated high school in 2007. Um, I joined the Army June 22nd, 2007, and July 10th, I went to basic training, mm -hmm. uh, Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Um, joined the field artillery, so I was there till like November, something like that. And then I did, uh, I did about a year and a half, two years on active duty for like recruiting and stuff mm -hmm. after that. Um, and then once that was done, I did college, the whole thing. Yeah. Um, did a deployment to the um, the Horn of Africa in 12 and 13. Wow. Yeah, that was an experience. I bet, oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, so it was like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're going on like security patrols, you know, area recon and stuff like that. And then Thursday, it's Friday, intense. yeah, and mm -hmm. yeah, it was it was wild. And then Thursday, Friday, you could kind of relax a little bit. I mean, it's relax. I mean, well, yeah. yeah. I mean, we had a pool there, but it was like inside of barbed wire, so it's like relaxed, but not not. Yeah, quite it's like the, you look up and you're like, oh. not exactly the spa. Yeah, <laughs> but nicer than wearing like your gear and carrying mm -hmm, a rifle for sure. So mm -hmm. I did the did the deployment. That was a, a phenomenal experience for me. Mm -hmm. um, like you know, we we think it's bad here when our Facebook won't upload. Yeah, but like over there, it's bad. Uh, it's just, it's just, it just sucks. So very, very fortunate to be an American. Very happy to be here. Um, came home in 14, like I said, finished up college, um, started selling cars again here in the Mark Williams Auto Group. Uh, wrapped up my bachelor's degree at NKU in 2015. And um, yeah, here I am. Just rocking and rolling. 
That's a, it's a good story. I mean, yeah. we're happy to have you. I want to thank you for being on the show. I want to thank you for your service and all of your hard work every day. We're going to put Stefan's information on the bottom of the screen. So if you want to get in contact with him, please feel free. As always, thank you guys for watching. And we look forward to seeing you next week.